Hello everybody, it is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Today we are going to be building a monster truck. So I got a lot of requests to do this. So we are going to build a monster truck. I have a few of these already built in Los Angeles. So we're going to build one more right here on this uh, little sandlot out in the desert region. And this is going to be very loosely based off of the Liberator from GTA 5, so the big Murica mobile. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with it, guys. So we're going to start off with the tires. Uh, first thing you want to do is just make a 3x3, three three, uh, just, you know, a little wall of bedrock. And if you're using the, this is the city texture pack, if you're using the default, I would go with uh, coal blocks here. And I'll kind of just uh, tell you guys what to use, you know, if you're going to build it in the default, you know, as we go. So uh, this is going to be our first thing here. And then you want to just basically do the exact same thing on this side. Just make it two blocks in, uh, you know, in depth, just like that. Jump three blocks away. So right here, you got to have three blocks in between. And just do the exact same thing like this. These are going to be our big monster truck tires to start. All right, and the exact same thing, you want to jump three blocks right here. So again, it wants to be three blocks away right here. And then another three blocks away here. And that's going to be our, our four tires. So you guys can imagine where the last one will be once we get this one done. Alright, so the last one is right here. And it's going to be... Oops, not right there actually. Three, right? Three blocks away. Again, from every side. And these are going to be our tires, okay? So once we have this put in, what you want to do is actually just like... Just cut a hole open through each of these tires. Make a little donut hole. Just, uh, you know, so they're nice little O-shaped at this point. Just like that. And what we want to do, actually, is go ahead and get out some cobblestone walls. And you want to just connect all the cobblestone walls, pretty much. So, again, across right there. Just connect them. Don't go all the way in. Go leave one block on this side because we're going to add something there. And just basically just connect the cobblestone walls across. And this is just going to be like the little axle of the underneath of the thing. So, so this is going to run across through here and connect like that. And then you want to add one more on each side over here and right there. And that's going to be that so just like that you got your little uh you know the bottom the base of the vehicle just like that so next thing we're going to do guys is i'm actually going to use some blue stained clay for this uh you can use if you're using the city texture pack you can also use wool instead of the stained clay which is totally perfect if you're using the default you can choose from any assortment of colors there isn't a really a blue colored wool or uh, i'm sorry stained clay you know it's kind of like a purpley color in the, in the default texture pack so you can mix and match the colors again i'm going with the red white and blue uh, just, you know, simply because that's how it looks in the game. So, all right. So we're going to take three blocks of stained clay across like that blue stained clay. One block above the tires and kind of just like connecting them across like that in three blocks. Exact same thing on this side, just like this. You can feel free to break that block. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get out some quartz slabs. You can also use quartz stairs and slabs. You can also use sand, um, uh, like stone bricks if you want to. Uh, I'm using quartz again, just for the red, white, and blue, but uh, it goes either way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a upside down stair on the corner, not like that, on the corner of each one of these blue stained clays. So we're going to follow that up by putting some slabs on the end of those as well, like this. And then what you want to do is actually place another blue stained clay just like that on each side over here as well, just sticking one block off the tire. And then you can obviously break the block and then finish it off by adding another upside down court stair just like that on all four and there you go you have that looking just like that so we're going to kind of do it by layers guys that's our first layer another thing you want to do is place a court stair like that place one upside down like that curving this one and then finally a third one curving it as well so you have like one normal in the middle and then two curving on the side and just rinse and repeat the process for the other side of the vehicle just like that all right, so now we're going to move on to the next layer again. Like, like I said, we're going to do this layer by layer. So the next layer is going to be some red. And you want to take two blocks of red stained clay and place them on top of the blue in the quartz slab. Then you want to go ahead and place a light gray wool right there, right above the slab. And then you want to go ahead and take some blocks across of blue stained clay. And this is going to go all the way across to right there. So it's going to go above the first stair like this. So one, two, three, four, five across from the white, just like that. Next thing we're going to do is place some quartz slabs right above that. So one, two, three quartz slabs and one, two, three quartz slabs, just like that. All right. So now that we have that squared away, let's go ahead and move on to the next layer. Again, this is going to be two more blue stained clay blocks lined up like that. And then you want to go two more reds. So red and a red. And then one more of the 
light gray wool. I'm not using white stained clay for this just because, you know, light gray wool obviously is really nice. Uh, if you're using the default, just feel free to use snow or quartz, a quartz block or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then finally, we're going to get some glass out here. Again, we have more than nine materials for this build, but, you know, these are kind of like the main materials. So you're going to take two glass blocks on each side like that. And then you're actually just going to go ahead and place one on the third one and then place another one. And then you can break that and then just take this across three. So it should be two, skip one block and then three across, skip one block and then two back. And that's what the, uh, I guess the glass is going to look like. So with that, you can go ahead and move on to the next layer, which is going to be two more quartz stairs like this and like that and actually in the back here we're going to place some upside down quartz stairs just like this so you can add that and then what you want to do is actually go ahead and continue to place some more blue stain so we're going to place three more blue stain like that covering up the red and the white and then we're going to go ahead and add two more quartz slabs like that and like that and then as well as the front here so we're going to actually have, kind of have these turning like this like all all four like that and kind of like a u-shape just like that so with that being done, we're going to go ahead and move up to the top here. What we're going to do is we're going to actually just add another U-shaped blue stain clay. So it's going to kind of wrap around through here, turn, and then wrap back up. So like that. So you want to have three blocks opening right here. And what you're going to do is actually go ahead and place some upside down quartz slabs on those openings. And then another three more quartz slabs above that. And that's going to be kind of the top of the vehicle. Then what you want to do is actually go ahead and place three more like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place our uh, glowstone. And you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some glowstone and I'm going to place it right here and right here. And then you can add one more blue stain clay. Probably not the best block to get rid of there. So you can get rid of red stain. We're not going to be using that too much. Just like that. So that's going to be the top of the, t of the vehicle, just like that. And that's looking great. And you can actually get rid of these blocks right here. You can get rid of those two blocks just like that. You don't need those. All right, so with that being done, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the vehicle. All right, guys, I actually made a quick mistake real quick. I just want to correct it before uh, we get too far along. I, I uh, moved this up one extra block than I should have. So these three blocks can be broken, and you can actually replace these two blocks with um, with the glowstone. And then you can place your quartz slabs right in front of those and actually break these three quartz slabs. And that's what it's supposed to look like. So I made a, a minor mistake, but we are back on track. So let's go ahead and continue moving forward here. So I'm going to place another quartz slab right here and right here up in front of this glass and on the side of this glass. And with that, we're going to go ahead and keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and place three more blue stained clay like that. That's going to be looking good. And then what we want to do is place a few more blue stained clay like that and like that. So there you go. And then what you want to do is actually go ahead and place some quartz stairs coming along the front like that. Then you can actually go ahead and place two more quartz slabs just like that. And we're starting to put together the front of the vehicle nice and good. Uh, nice and good. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get out some blue carpet. Uh, you can get rid of the full blocks of glass. We're not going to need those anymore. And I'm just going to place a lining of five blue carpets just like that right across. And I'm actually going to go ahead and place some more blue carpet on the top of this blue stained clay. Just like that. I'm not going to put it on these outside blocks here. Just this ring around the quartz slabs like that. And that is looking pretty good. So we have a nice little start here, guys. We're going to start to do a little of the inner workings of the vehicle and then just add a little bit more detail and we'll be good. So let's go ahead and keep on going here. So if we move over to the front, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place some quartz slab, or I'm sorry, some quartz stairs. I'm gonna get that mixed up a lot because you know, they both start with S, you gotta cut me some slack. Place the two of them sideways underneath of the blue stained clay and then just go ahead and place them across there, curving those side, the curving the ones on the side like that. That's looking great. Then you have a many options here you can place three cobblestone walls if you want you can place three anvils which is what i'm going to do you can even place some gray wool blocks or even some bedrock and place some ladders in front of that if you want if you're in the default texture pack i'd recommend using um anvils here or even um what else works i think a furnace it backwards furnaces looks okay but anvils is definitely what you want to do so that looks pretty good so we're moving along nicely. So let's go ahead and move to the back of the, the vehicle a little bit here. We're going to start to fill in some of this on the inside. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to go ahead and grab some stone slabs. And we're just going to go ahead and start to fill these in here. So we're going to add full blocks. Okay, so these all of these are going to become full blocks. And these are going to go back a few, just like this and like that. You can actually break that block there. And this is going to go back all the way to right there. So you want three or four blocks back. I believe I believe uh, three and then three should be pretty good. That might get adjusted later. This is a little bit tricky. So 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and take that and take that all the way out to the end. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, an extra lining of blue stained clay, kind of sticking out from the back there. And uh, we'll do a little bit more with that later. So let's go under here. I'm going to place a backward stair like the two backward stairs like that. And then we're going to place some upside down stairs running along just like that. That's going to be the back of the vehicle. We're going to add some uh, rear view lights or some rear view lights. That doesn't make any sense. Some, uh, you know, back lights there in a minute. So that's going to be a, a thing. Let's go ahead and move in here. Uh, what we want to do actually, guys, is we want to fill this whole thing in with cobblestone walls. So this is going to be a wall. Basically, this entire thing in here is going to be cobblestone walls kind of running all the way across. And even you want to connect them from the tires like that. And then back here, we're going to go ahead and place two anvils like that. So that's that's exactly how that's supposed to be looking. You want to place even another one right here, connecting that to the middle. And then pretty much the exact same thing on this side. So you want your three cobblestone walls coming across on each side like this. This is the part that's a little bit tricky, but you just kind of follow along as best you can. Then place two anvils like that and like that. And there you go, guys. You can just go ahead and like fill the rest of this in with some stained clay, just like that. You can even add, if you want to, you can add a couple more uh, cobblestone walls right above that. Just like that. So there you go, guys. That's the in. It's like the inner workings of the vehicle. Another thing you can do actually is you can add a beacon underneath here, so it kind of gives it like a little bit of like a, you know, a lighting underneath of the vehicle. So that's good. You can do that absolutely if you want to. And then up here, we're gonna clear our inventory and add a little bit more. So what I want to do is actually get some trip wire hooks and some buttons out. I'm gonna place a trip wire hook right underneath the second glass block here. And then I'm gonna place some buttons on both of the light gray wool blocks like that and that's gonna look pretty good so if we move back here we got to work on the inside of the vehicle in here right this is this part's all needs to be worked on and what we need to do is we're gonna get out a furnace uh, some anvils and then all we need besides that is just a cobblestone wall you can break that block and make it into a cobblestone wall just like that and then what you want to do is actually get out some quartz slabs as well and we're gonna place three quartz slabs just like that all right what you want to do now here is actually go ahead and place these blocks coming up like this. Three more cobblestone walls. And then in the back here, you want to place cobblestone walls running across like that. And then you want to place anvils on top of this and on top of that, just like there. And then what you want to do is place another anvil right there. So this is just going to be a lot of like, you know, inner workings of the car. And then lastly, you want to place a furnace right there. So that's really that how that's going to look can even place another uh and you can place a couple more anvils back here if you want to that's perfectly fine so that's really how the back of the vehicle is going to look and then what we need to do now is actually go ahead and add some more um detail to this back spot here so what i'm gonna do is start on the red wool block or sorry red stained clay block we're gonna place two cobblestone walls and these are gonna go up four so two three and four two three and four just like that and again you still want this area kind of open back here that's kind of the point and then what you want to do is get back out your blue wool and red wool. And obviously, this is exactly what I want. Uh, for the flag, It's not gonna, we're not going to use uh, stained clay for the flag. It's going to be a little bit different. So if the flag is back here, you, what you want to do is place a red wool and then a light gray. Jump a block right there. Place another light gray and then another red. And then the exact same flag on this side except with the blue wool. So got the whole America thing going on right here. Just like that. That's how, That's looking pretty good. So... With that, guys, uh, we only have a few more things to do, just a couple of minor details, and this thing will be finished. So, first off, let me pick that back up, and let me grab another um, blue stained clay. Just kind of patch this up here. i got to get a glass as well. We're not going to do... Actually, we do need to do one more thing on the inside before we are before we close it up. So, the last thing we got to do on the inside, let's grab some quartz stairs. I'm just going to go ahead and make a small bench right there. And that's going to be like the little sitting spot. And then I'm going to place some blue wool here and an anvil. This, this is going to be the steering wheel, although it's not a steering wheel, obviously. But, you know, you can put a an item frame. You can put, like, a CD on an item frame if you want. I'm just going to put an anvil because why not? And then let's go ahead and patch this back up. So we no longer need to go on the inside of the Liberator. So that's good. Looking great. So let's go ahead and add a few more details. I'm going to clear my inventory, and I'm going to grab some anvils real quick. We're going to place anvils right on the openings of each one of the tires going all the way around like this. All right, great. So we have that. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more. We're going to add item frames out front here. I'm actually going to grab some redstone blocks for this. This is good for both texture packs. And I'm just going to go ahead and place some uh, item frames and then block a redstone. And those are going to be the uh, rear lights, which is cool. 
All right, so brake lights, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then up here in the front, you, there's a couple options. You can use beacons, and also let me grab um, the blue carpet. You can switch out the, uh, the blue stained clay with some beacons if you want to, and then break these blocks here and place some blue above it. That's absolutely an option. Several options for that. I actually kind of like that option, so I think I'll just stick with that for now. But with that, guys, there is the Liberator pretty much finished. You can even put a um, an, a sign on the back here that says Liberator if you want to on the, uh, the back of the car. But it looks pretty good. So there is the Liberator, guys. Uh, fully finished here. You can put this on your roads. Make sure you have pretty wide roads for this vehicle since it is it's a pretty big car. So uh, with that, guys, thank you very much for watching. It has been Dan Lang. So hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, vehicle tutorial thing. I like to do these every once in a while, and a lot of people are requesting that I build the monster trucks. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Give it a like if you enjoy it. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.